Hello everyone, I hope you are all doing well. For those who have just entered the fixed focus channel, I must say that this channel is for the solar dish with a fixed focus system. And now I am busy completing a unique home power plant with this system and we are in the stage of making the generator. You can also become a member of the channel and witness the completion of this power plant. We already tested different generators and one of them is this one, whose video address I will put in the description section. But today I want to arrange an interesting experiment. Well, I have made another one of this example and there is no winding on the stator. And inside it is a rotor with a permanent magnet. We have a coil that if I put it on the stator I can test different cores on it. The core of the coil can be made of different materials, and if some materials are placed as a core in the center of the coil, it affects the output voltage. This is an iron core, and this is an aluminum core, and this is the core that I made, and I named it RMC for short. This core is suitable for generators and causes a tremendous increase in the output voltage. If I show it closely, it is a simple cylinder. In fact, this is considered an invention, and I have started to register it, and if there is no similar one, a long time will have to pass to register it. If the patent is finished, I will make a video for you on how to make it. So, I apologize that I cannot provide you with the information of this RMC core at the moment. Now I have a request from all of you and that is to rate the functionality of this core in the comments section. You can rate from 0 to 100 and it does not have to be 100. Of course, you can give 0, but don't give any more negatives, but be sure to give the grade. Well, let's test this coil core and see how interesting it is. Another request is to watch the video carefully to understand the topic well. If someone has seen an example of it somewhere, Please share it in the comments along with the website address or video. Let's watch the video together. In one of the previous videos, I made a rotor like this, and this rotor is made up of small and almost weak neodymium permanent magnets. This rotor contains four main rows of magnets. And each row contains two rows next to each other. One row is the N pole and the other row is the S pole. So one N row and one S row. Now, I put this rotor in another tube called the stator like this, and the coil can be put on the stator. You can see that the rotor rotates very easily. If I put this magnet on it, you can see it slides on the stator as the rotor rotates. This is proof of the magnetic field on the surface of the stator. Now I will put a coil on it, 
This coil has 500 turns of wire and its diameter is 0.4 millimeters. I tie both ends of the coil with string to the surface of the stator and test different cores on it. Now the coil is fixed to the surface of the stator and to prevent the tube from moving, I will place two pieces of rubber next to it. To make it easier for you to see, I will put this digital multimeter on a higher level. Now I connect the two ends of the voltmeter probe to the two ends of the coil. I set the multimeter to 200 volts AC. Now if I rotate the rotor by hand, you can see that the voltage is shown. In order for us to have an almost constant speed, I use this drill, of course, this drill has two speeds of 300 rpm and 800 rpm. We want to test first with no core, then with iron, then with aluminum, and then with my own RMC. And compare the voltages. Now the drill is set to 300 RPM and I connect it to the rotor shaft. In no core mode 1.8 volts and it's time for the iron core. With an iron core, it is approximately 2.6 volts, and it is the turn of the aluminum core. It had almost no effect with the aluminum core. Now I use the RMC core. You can see that the RMC core was almost 8.4 volts, which is a significant increase. Now I will set the drill to 800 RPM.
ولی اگر که حساب بکنیم Five point nine V in coreless mode. With iron core eight point two V. with an aluminum core, approximately 5.9 volts. Now we go to the core of RMC. You saw that the output voltage with the RMC core was approximately 25 volts, which means an approximate increase of 4 times. You saw how effective this core is in increasing the voltage. Now I want to use an SMD integrated circuit instead of a voltmeter. and I will put it in place of the voltmeter and connect its wires to the coil. First, in coreless mode with a speed of 800 RPM. with an iron core. With aluminum core. And now with the RMC core.
The blinking of SMDs is due to the frequency of the generator and it is visible in the video camera, otherwise it cannot be recognized by the eye. Therefore, by using this RMC core, the output power of the generator can be increased. Now if I use more windings with RMC core around the stator the voltage will increase dramatically. Don't forget to give a score in the comment from 0 to 100. If you have any opinion about this core, write it in the comments and you don't have to be an expert in this work, and your opinion will be very valuable. If you still haven't rated it, leave it in the comments and become a member of the channel so that all interested people can be together. Your opinion in the comment is extremely important and giving a rate is your easiest opinion. I hope you enjoyed this video, until the next program, bye.